I always just find it interesting to see what other people do think and believe in on many things, especially things like faith. Personally, I'm, I'm not a big believer in the thing of scripture being evidence. If I was to have a personal experience with something like a God, then obviously I'm going to yeah. kind of think, okay, well, obviously there's a God then. While I've learned kind of the basic stuff of religion as to why people believe, I don't really know the specifics of too many. One thing that I like to do as a person is kind of understand what everyone believes to some degree. Well, it was a real pleasure to speak with this young man. Uh, he didn't seem to have any prejudices about religion and really seemed to understand the importance of faith. It's interesting though, uh, whether he was an exception or is it really the case that young men today really don't have that much exposure to religion. Uh, but if he's not an exception, then it's obvious that there's still a lot of work ahead of us. And I'm glad that I was able to uh, share the gospel with this young man because I'm not sure where uh, he would have uh, heard it otherwise. Um, and so please have a look at the conversation in its entirety and perhaps I would leave you with this question. Do you think it's easier to witness to someone who has no basics at all of any sort of religion or Christianity or to someone who already has some foundational knowledge? Well, why don't you leave me a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless. My first question is really simple and the same for everyone. Uh, do you have any faith? Um, no. No, not any faith at no. all. Has that ever changed for you? Were you at one point going to like a Sunday school or not? And no, did that um, change? my family, we've just never been one with any faith. So it's kind of just the way I was growing up was never around that kind of thing. Okay. So I was just never really introduced to it at any point to make me believe it, if you go what I mean. I see, I see. Is it something you think you'd be interested in sort of researching or at least finding out more? Um, yeah, I always just find it interesting to see what other people do think and believe in on many things, especially things like faith. Yeah. So I am quite interested by it Yeah. in seeing what other people do believe in. Got it, got it. Have you, have, have you done any sort of, I don't know, looking into any of the different faiths, you know, the major ones, and try to see what, what is it that they're all about? Um, I mean, not, as, not really within my own time, but okay. where I've obviously been at school, we've done things like religious education, which have given me a basic look into it. And at home, um, my stepmom, she's Jewish. Okay. Um, so I've asked her a few questions about it here and there. Sure. Just little things I've thought about and have been interested in. Got it, got it. And as you were, let's say you now sort of start, as you get sort of go, grow older and trying to sort of be open to these things, what will be your framework, right? What will be your framework to look into things like faith, right? So how do you approach it and how do you say, okay, yeah, there's something in there, but this one, Steer, steer clear from that one. You know, what is what is the basis that you would say of finding out what is true within the claims that are being made? I think it kind of just lies down to a lot of proof. Like personally, I'm I'm not a big believer in the thing of scripture being evidence okay. solely because of how old it is and while people think they know where that kind of stuff comes from. Just personally, the way I see it is, it's been like thousands of years. No one's really sure about 100% its kind of origin, that kind of thing. So I kind of just base it down to the evidence that they have. So if it's like scripture, if it's just stories like told locally down generations, that's the kind of stuff I base it on. Yeah. Kind of if I believe something makes sense, if I think it's credible, that kind of thing. Got it, got it. But do you think that would be sufficient? Like, let's say. You, you look into things, you look at the scriptures, you look at the origins of scripture, there's enough historical evidence there, there's scholars who are sort of trying to basically do their best to explain uh, why this is particularly trustworthy text. Um, all those things kind of seem to make sense. Would that be sufficient for you or would you say, okay, well, that's just one piece of the puzzle. I'd like to sort of do a couple of other things be before it makes personal sense to me. I think 
yeah, for it to make personal sense to me, then yeah, I think I would maybe need a bit more than that. But kind of to fully understand it and kind of get why someone else would believe it more so, then I would need to have that kind of knowledge. But yeah, that's... Okay, okay. So maybe would it like a personal experience would be also something pretty important, like that it was... Uh, you know, we often talk about so there's the intellectual knowledge, but there's yeah. the kind of the personal sort of knowledge. Would that be a major factor, you think, potentially? Yeah. I mean, the way I see it is, if I was to have a personal experience with something like a god, then obviously I'm going to yeah, yeah. kind of think, okay, well, obviously there's a god then. So, a lot of it, kind of, the way I see it is just, if I was to have a personal experience and I'd been introduced to that kind of thing from birth, then yeah. I would obviously believe in it, but where I haven't had either of those really, right. that's just kind of where my belief in it all comes from. Got it, got it, got it. So let's, let's maybe uh, start speaking maybe specifically about, let's say, Christianity, because that's, yeah. that's, that's where I'm from and uh, I can only speak about what I really know more, most, right? But I guess my, uh, a very simple, again, open question. How much of Christianity do you know? What are the kind of the main claims? If you were like writing a test in school yeah. and the question was, in you know, two or three sentences describe the main claims of Christianity. What would you put down? Uh, <laughs> a little bit put on the spot now. Um, yeah, I'd probably... Honestly, I'm not sure what I could really put down it because... I don't know, it's just... I don't feel like I have. While I've learned kind of the basic stuff of religion as to why people believe, I don't really know the specifics of too many to really say I could even write two or three sentences on something like Christianity. Sure, sure. But I mean, I guess maybe, oh, apologies for putting you in the spot, I guess maybe oh, I, no, was, I was sort of, uh, you know, because I guess within the culture that we live in, in England, I think there are sort of Christian, what do you say, sort of remnants of Christian sort of, Christianity kind of subsumes the society. You know, we celebrate holidays like yeah. Christmas, we celebrate Easter, we celebrate other things, and then you know, there's, there's uh, Church of England schools and assemblies and things like that. So. I guess, I guess, from from all the kind of cultural, uh, I think understanding, uh, I guess you would you would probably say, well, okay, Christianity is about a person called Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, you would say probably that we believe that he uh, you know, came to Earth 2,000 roughly years ago, that he uh, lived a life, and then he was killed on the cross, on the Roman cross, right? And he rose uh, after three days, and that's what we celebrate at Easter, right? His birth is celebrated at Christmas. Christmas is the holiday that celebrates his birth. Easter is the holiday that celebrates his death and resurrection. All of the, have I said anything that is new so far? No. To you? no? Uh, okay. Good. <laughs> just wanted to. Make I, sure. I know all that stuff. <laughs> all that stuff. Okay. So, so I guess the that's kind of the basis of Christianity. I guess the 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 maybe the uh, the question that perhaps uh, uh, you know you would maybe not be as close to is why, right? Why? Why? And what does it all mean, right? So, the question: Why did Jesus Christ come to this earth? Would you kind of have any idea about that, or not really? Um, that that that's really what I, I can really think of to answer. It's just not too sure about it. <laughs> got it. Got it. Okay. Let me let me see if I can give you the basic, right? That you said. Okay. Well, that's completely brand new or okay uh, something interesting yeah uh, and you know something that you maybe take forward and, and compare it to other things you're going to be sort of hearing through life and all that kind of stuff so so the basic right the basic of christianity is is number one uh, god created the earth uh, everything around us the universe everything was created by god that's genesis right the first book of the journey of the Christians to be more and more like Christ in our journey. So that's, I know I've spoken there quite a lot, probably <laughs> skipped over a, a number of sort of uh, important bits of the story of the Christian story. But I think that's in a nutshell, that's called the gospel, that's called the good news. The good news, if you hear it said the gospel, is that, that idea that Christ saves. Christ saved, he came down to save us from the punishment that we deserve because of the sin that we've committed. That's the gospel. Yeah. Uh, has that a lot of that been new? Some of it new, some of it old to you? What do you think? Um, I think I'd kind of 
I'd heard about like kind of the more basic side of that stuff before, but that was kind of the more in-depth kind of thing of it. So yeah. Sure, sure. Okay, okay. And I, I probably cannot do as much in depth about other religions, but one thing I will say about other religions is that I think this message of Christianity is unique in the sense that other religions would always say, um, well, first of all, all other all religions are are, are about perhaps two things: um, how do we live uh, life on this earth, and how do we uh, get into heaven, right? Uh, in a rough rough sort of sense, right? But I think one thing that Christianity says that is unique is that for you to get into heaven is not about doing something better. Uh, you cannot do enough good works, you cannot do enough uh, good deeds to earn your way into heaven. It is only by trusting someone who's done that thing for you, by trusting Christ, right? And that is unique because you would, if you look at Islam, uh, Islam is all about uh, doing more of good than of bad. And so uh, at, at the end of the age, there's some sort of a weighing, the scales. You know, you put your bad deeds on one side of the scale, good deeds on the other side of the scale, and you hope <laughs> that you come out on a good side. And that, they will tell you that, you know, Muslims will tell you that they're not ashamed of that. That is how it works. Similarly with, uh, you know, Buddhism, there is no such thing as God, it's just Nirvana. It's basically just, there is nothing, nothing here in this earth is important. The more you dis dis disentangle and detach yourself from the reality, the more you closer you are to nirvana. It's it's a very much of a a mind kind of a expansion type of a thing. Yeah. Um, Hinduism, they say, look, there's multiple gods, and 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 uh, God is in everything, and and you can be God yourself, and uh, just worship Him and try to do your 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 life in the best way you can. Again, kind of more of a, a doing sacrifice that they. they, they if you go to India, they put sacrifices, they have uh, idols and things like that. They, they have temples of rats and things like that. Cool. Rats run rampant everywhere and they feed them. They feel like they get favor from gods and God is in everything. Even in things like rats or cows and everything like that. You, you give favor to those things and you get, fa you know, so you do good things and you get favors back in your life. That's the kind of thing. And then, you know, in Israel, and I don't, I don't mean to demean at all Israel. I respect Jews quite a lot, and especially if your family is Jewish. The only, you know, we we Christians came. Jesus was a Jew. Let's let's yeah. be honest, right? He was a Jew. It is just that he's the fulfillment of the prophecy. And I think the difference would be, Jews are still waiting for the Messiah, and we said, no, he has come. He's come. You can get to know him. He's alive now. He's been resurrected. All of the prophecies of the Old Testament point to him because he's fulfilled them. Now, obviously, they would disagree with that, uh, and you, know, you should probably look into some of those differences. Um, yeah. I think it's really interesting. Uh, but those are the, you know, the, the rough sort of map of the religions of the world. You know, Christianity is not so much about doing; it's about trusting, trusting, uh, trusting Jesus that what He has done is sufficient for, for our relationship with God. So that's that's the difference. I just wanted to call that out, but I would leave it with you, you know, to. Um, in your life to um, yeah look into these things I would yeah. just say look into these things it's important would you agree it's important to look into yeah. matters of faith yeah because one thing that I like to as a person is kind of understand what everyone believes to some degree yeah. because obviously there's tons of people in the world everyone believes different things yeah. so I want to kind of be a thing where I can understand everyone so then I can speak to people on these things you know like, because I like having these kinds of conversations with people on things, even if I don't believe in them, I like to hear what other people think and believe. So, have, knowing about those things and understanding them means I can have more of those kinds of conversations with people. Absolutely. So that's why I do think it's important. Great, great. And I would say it's even more important. It's important for those reasons, but I also think it's important that if there is a, such a thing as life after death and what we do in this life makes a difference of where we go then, it's of eternal, inter, eternal importance as well, yeah. uh, for that reason. So I would agree on that basis as well. Uh, all right, great stuff. You've been a good sport. Thank you for <laughs> listening to uh, my lengthy monologue. Uh, but yeah, I'll just leave you with that. Just just continue yeah. searching for it. I think your heart is in the right place. I would just say it's important. And uh, I would leave you with uh, yeah what I've shared with you. Compare that with other things and uh, you know, be open to it. Be open to yeah. it. Um, and um, yeah, maybe we can meet again later on a couple of months or years or whatever yeah. and then you can tell me what you've what you've uh, come up and what you found out yeah wonderful stuff all right great thanks very much thank yeah. you <laughs>